He made his own interpretation. Paul wrote this letter from lockdown, from a jail cell in the city of Rome, around 61 AD. It was written to a church he had planted about 10 years earlier in the city of Philippi. Paul was Nero's prisoner, but he didn't sweat it. He had broken out of prison before, but this time he didn't. But see, miracles, they weren't his source of joy. Christ was. So this was an encouraging letter as many people, they were worried about their leader. Here he was, locked up again. What's going to happen to him? What's going to happen to the movement? But Paul quickly established, don't worry, it's all good. My chains are advancing the gospel. I'm writing letters, I'm singing, I'm preaching. Cellmates and guards, they're coming to know Christ. So don't worry about me. Don't worry about yourself. Just help advance the gospel and help others advance and get ahead. As I live behind these bars and write these bars, it's not your typical braggadocious rhymes about cribs, rims, and cars. See, I've come too far. I used to be a proud murderer, killing Christians. But on the road to Damascus, Christ himself had me listening. Suddenly it was no longer about my shine glistening in the spotlight. On the spot he took my sight clean my spot so right so now for the rest of my life i'm down to fight i've had much i've had little i've learned humility i've learned that trying to climb to the top of the ladder is a journey of futility i know that some of y'all are feeling me because imitating christ feels so great that's why some of y'all came from new york from cali from florida come and innovate in South Bend to share ideas and encourage the next gen. So find your Timothy. He won't do it like you, but pass the baton, respect the old, and empower the new. The new.